Hello, people on the internet. Today, I'm showing you what I usually carry in my pencil case, or in my case, my pencil pouch. I purchased this pouch in a local German stationery shop, and I will link the brand's website in the description box down below, so make sure to check it out. The first item I'm showing you is my ruler. It's from Muji and has been my loyal companion for years now. Whenever I show it in my posts or videos, I get a handful of inquiries about where it's from. So here you go, it's from good old Muji. I also always carry an eraser with me. This one here is from Tumbo and it works. <laughs> it reduces eraser dust unlike other erasers, which is quite practical. The mechanical pencil I use is from Papa Castell, and I mostly use it for the eraser part though because it's so slim, so it comes in handy especially when I'm doing lettering sketches. The next pen is a new favorite of mine. It's the Uni-style fit pen with three colors. It can accommodate three refills, and I've chosen gel pens in 0.28mm sizes in the colors blue-black, purple, and black. I especially love the black one because it's very smooth to write with, which I find is very rare with this thin of a nib size. The next two pens are the erasable gel pens from Muji in two different nib sizes. One is 0.4mm and the other one is 0.5mm. These are my holy grail items as I fill in most of my planners and journals with these. They are erasable through heat which is caused by friction. Whenever I write with these, I feel so at ease due to the fact that I can erase them if anything changes or I make any mistakes, which I make plenty of. They also write quite well on washi tape, unlike other gel pens. The next item is a little extra, but I've been carrying it with me the past few months, so might as well show it. And it is this white jelly roll from Sakura. It doubles as a white art for me as well. Then I also have a glue pen with me, this one is also from Sakura, and I find it very practical to use so that I can craft on the go. I could never forget about my good and literally old pencil. This is a Stedler pencil in 2H, which means that the lead is pressed firmer and hence the color payoff is lighter so it's very easy to erase. Then we have my favorite gel pen, which is kind of a zombie pen. It has the barrel of the Zebra Sarasa clip gel pens, but the refill is actually the Pentel Energel pen in 0.5mm with a needle tip. That's why there's a washi tape on it. It's my holy grail gel pen for notes, because it writes extremely smoothly and dries fast enough so that I can highlight over it without having to worry about smudging it, which is very very important to me. Lately, I've also been carrying the Uniball Signal gel pen in 0.38mm with me. This one also writes super smoothly, but it doesn't dry fast enough for me to highlight over it. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not really sure why I have it in my pencil case, but it's there. I also tend to carry at least one highlighter in my pouch. This one is the Stabilo Swing Cool Highlighter in Neon Yellow. The Swing Cool highlighters, be it the neon colors or the pastel versions, are my favorite highlighters to use because the ink is so smooth and it doesn't bleed through to the other side. Also, the packaging is practical and sleek to carry around. And that is pretty much everything that I have with me on a daily basis, if I remember to actually take my pencil case with me. But it definitely goes with me when I'm traveling, which I've done a lot last year and will probably do a lot this year as well. Oh, and I almost forgot about this little item here. It looks like a fountain pen, but is actually a pocket scissor. Now, it's not the sharpest or the most precise scissor in the world, but it gets the job done when I'm on the road and want to cut some washi tapes. Or, um, I mean, I guess important stuff like uh, documents or etc. Anyways, so that is everything I have in my pencil case. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon, hopefully.